show. I can't see very well because of my pop shoes. Oh, it's starting. Oh, get your popcorn ready. We should probably introduce ourselves. Oh, okay, yes. You first. I'm James Yore. Um, where where might people know you from, James? you if they, they they've probably seen you somewhere before, I imagine. I'm, I'm from um, James. You're on the fridge doors. Oh yes, yes. yes, uh, yes um, and the Jolly Roll Jazz Band. Oh yes. My name's Michael A. Grant, not to be confused with Michael Grant, who I despise. <laughs> and I am also from the Jelly Roll Jazz Band. Um, and sometimes James, you're on the fridge doors. And this is our musical. I thought that death. <laughs> so. This is indeed our musical. Mongolian Death Worm, a puppet show musical. And what a fine musical it is. This is our opening song, The Ballad of the Mongolian Death Worm. Can I just go back to that opening line? I'll know my sausages. Yes. I think it, the very important, it's a very important it line. <laughs> it really sets the tone for the whole, yes. the whole play. I remember thinking on day one of writing, I was like, I want that as the first line. Yes. I'll know my sausages. Yeah. And that, and really the whole play kind of sprang from that line. Once you get, you know, people often say, once you get the title, that kind of, you know, spawns the whole thing. But I think with this, it was really the line, oh no, my sausages, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that led to everything else. It's the rest there. kind of wrote itself, really, after that. That was a genius movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up there with Shakespeare's to be or not to be. Yes. <laughs> If Shakespeare had thought of, oh no, my sausages, <laughs> he would have been a lot more successful than he was. <laughs> um, we haven't set the Alexa. Oh, <laughs> Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> You'll be out of your wits. There we go. Oh, she's good. Oh, she's going on about it. Oh. Okay. Uh, so every ten minutes, we're going to answer a question. We've been sent a few questions. Yeah. I've, Our fans. I've lost the names of the um, people who sent these questions, so we'll just create a fake name uh, for every. Yes. Question. I look forward to hearing these ad-libbed fake names as well. <laughs> so do I. Very <laughs> interesting. Um, what's the title of this song, Michael? This is. I think I already said, but it's the Ballad of the Mongolian Death Worm. Mm. Um, largely influenced by the ballad of Sweeney Todd from Sweeney Todd, with the exception of this this part, which, yeah, you don't get this kind of pop sing along in Sweeney Todd. No. And that's where Sondheim really fails, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I remember thinking this this bit was kind of inspired by Lamez in a way. Yeah, it very much has that feel. <laughs> yeah. The kind of. Yeah, that's our very musical theatre section there. Oh, something we noticed the other day while we were watching this. If you listen to this line. Um, Don't you wear yellow clothes. And then the next guy who walks in is wearing a nice bright yellow cloak. Yes. Which we didn't realise until about a year after filming it. Yeah, we only, re- so, we only actually watched it together for the first time. A few weeks ago, yes, which, which is quite was, crazy, which is like lockdown. T- ten or eleven months after it was released, finished. yeah. So, um, but yeah, there are so many jokes in it. Even we didn't notice half of them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> some jokes were too obscure even for the writers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, it's divine inspiration giving us obscure jokes. <laughs> Eagle-eyed viewers here might also notice that you can see my uh, forehead. <laughs> yes, there will be many more appearances from James's forehead, and also uh, mine. And Michael's forehead, yeah. yeah. The thing is, um, we did have a mirror set up across the other side of the room, so we could kind of see what the stage looked like. But because of the angle of it, um, we didn't realise quite how much of our heads and hands were visible. This, this lightning, oh... Just yes, look at that lightning, that's, that's, that's some so the, artistry there. The flashes coming down from the top are actual cardboard lightning dropped down by Mr. James Yule. Yes. And then the 
flashes on the screen, like that, are um, done in post-production. All the special effects, just flashing the brightness of the image. Yes, I, I really like this title. Let's see. Oh, listen to that lovely tube. Oh. Mr. James, you're on tube. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a little cameo from my hands there at the side, you might have seen. Oh. You might notice Mysterious. that the um, laptop has a uh, duck mouse. <laughs> we we yeah. were intending to add a duck to every scene as like a bit of an Easter egg, but we How forgot after the scene, <laughs> so after the third scene, we oh, used it. So it's only in like, like two, I think. <laughs> um, what can I do for you? Before we get to that, may I ask you what you had for lunch today? Well, it's funny you should ask that. As you know, I yes, I was very pleased with the um, set design for Bodkin's office. It's, right? it's nice, yeah. That photo of him turned out really well. The, yeah, the the photo of him, which we took on the same background as that. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ve vegetables. <coughs> mm, oh, yes, the um. Tell Professor me, boy, Bodkin himself was inspired by a real-life character, believe it or not. We were watching no, no, no. old episodes of Animal, Vegetable, Mineral on uh, BBC iPlayer. And one of those, one of the experts, was a, a guy called Professor Bodkin. And one of the phrases that the uh, host used at one point was, Tell me, Professor Bodkin, <laughs> what do you think of Tyler? So we thought this was the ideal opportunity to use the phrase, Tell me, Professor Bodkin, as much as possible. Tell me, Professor Bodkin, is there anything and I can This do is the first like appearance made by your Oh, forehead yes, there's my well. forehead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, you'll notice I took the decision not to shave my hair off during lockdown. <laughs> Whereas James went with the, the other approach. I don't think, it, I think my hair had grown up back by this point. Yes, considerably. Yeah. But yeah. But not as much as mine. My no. Golden flowing locks. You had like surfer type hair. Surfer dude, yeah. Surfer. So did I until the cafeteria. What do you think of the uh, puppets, area. Michael? I think they're the best puppets I've ever seen. And also, I was thinking earlier, I'm very glad that the mouths don't move, because that would have made the overdubbing very difficult. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because at, at one point, I was debating having moving mouths. Yes. We have one moving mouth character who will be revealed later. Didn't you hear me? Our lunch is on the line. You need to go to Mongolia and stop that rotten meat-eating scoundrel. I chose, um... I thought The Simpsons had very distinct distinctive yellow skin for their characters. <laughs> yes. So uh, I was trying to think of um, another distinctive skin colour for our characters. So I chose green. Yes. Yeah, I remember at the time, because we were saying also Lego people have, um, at least originally they have yellow skin because it was kind of considered a kind of neutral skin colour. It doesn't represent any particular race. So we went for a similar thing with the green here. <laughs> Or maybe they're all just a little bit sick. <laughs> sick! Sick! Um, what's this song called, Michael? It says World Without Sand. Um, which was a slight pun on World Without End from either the Nunc Dimittis or the Magnificat. <laughs> I think this was the first... Was this the first scene we filmed? Yes, I think so. We kind of went from the simpler ones that just have two characters. Yeah. Through, and I, and I think the last one we did was the first scene that we've just watched. Sand. Yeah. Where it had all the characters except Roy. Yes. Pretty it, much. It, they were all, yeah, and because. That was a lot more complicated with people you'll, coming going. You'll find out later why um, Roy. The, you'll find out later which scene Roy was in yeah. last because. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were we were worried about the puppets getting too damaged for certain. Yeah, if you look very carefully, you'll be able to see uh, different levels of sticky tape <laughs> and glue on the puppets. Uh, I think their arms, with with the um, skewers holding them, they often required a bit of sellotaping to and on set repairs. And the. The arms are made out of uh, disposable gloves with rice in them. Yes. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and they added that is that is rice in as in they have rice in them, <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> rice in the poison. <laughs> no, and, um, uh, and I super glued the skewers on, which was a poor idea because the super glue melted the displaceable gloves, <laughs> so the rice just started pouring out. We ended up with quite a bit of rice over the living room floor. Yes. Um, and we still have most of that rice today, do yes. we not? Yeah, we yes. are still, I didn't know how much <laughs> rice I'd get through. So he bought, bought the huge. biggest bag he could find for these tiny little arms. <laughs> and then, then he decided to give up eating carbs. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone wants any rice, <laughs> yeah. please get in touch at the following address. <laughs> yes, I do have a lot of rice. Mm. I do like the line in this, um, we shall fight the beach. I was just going to say that, yeah. yeah you so, have a little so. motivational speech coming up. Oh, is that coming up? Yeah. It hasn't that's just yet. now, yeah. Oh, let's yeah. stay quiet for that so you can really hear it. We will fight the beaches. Yes, yes we great. will fight the beaches. Of course, Fantastic. based on, we will fight them on the beaches. Um, I also really enjoyed, um, coming up with this <laughs> saxophone solo. <laughs> Make it as naff a power ballad as possible. We had the cheesy electric piano earlier in the song. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, and we haven't mentioned the pineapple as well. No. So, Another thing for eagle-eyed viewers. A pineapple instead of apple on the laptop. And yeah. we're, coincidentally, we're drinking pina coladas at the moment and oh. pineapple-flavoured gin. Yes. So a, a very pineapple-themed uh, evening for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or well, Roy's hat just about coming off. <laughs> Stay tuned Word. for more hat mishaps. Yeah. Hat mishaps. Sand <laughs> or no sandwich. Sand or no sandwich, <laughs> yeah, folks. That's a very good point. I think fine. every line we wrote in this is gold. Yes. <laughs> I, just, I really think that. Oh, my forehead there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, this this. Fell. I think we did a few takes on Ooh. that with the desk coming off. Alexa, stop. Then, Oh, is the oh, timer going? Yeah, on? the timer's going. It's that's time it. for our first question, question of the evening. Who does this question come from, James? It comes from um, Shelf McVitty. Shelf McVitty. <laughs> is that? No, that must be a different Shelf McVitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's anyone you know. Michael. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, what does Shelf say? Shelf asks. Um, will there be a sequel? Slash, what does the future hold for Glowworm Productions? It's a good question. Can I just say about this scene? I was yes. terrified to do this scene because we only had one map of the world, so yes, it was, it was only uh, one take we could do. Yeah, yeah. Most things we had more than one attempt at, but this was one of the one takes. And also, I don't think this came across quite as well in the in the end, but this is a parody of the Indiana Jones thing, where they have a map and they show the red line as he flies across to different countries. Yeah. And the music you're hearing is the Mongolian national anthem in kind of in the style of the Indiana Jones theme tune. So there's some subtleties that we did intend. And you composed this one alone, didn't you, Michael? I did. Well, I arranged it alone. Well, yeah. <laughs> based it's very good. on. Based on. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. But we won't tell them I, on going. I like people. the the tuba got very high, but I liked it. Yeah. This was, this bit. Oh no! Wait. Oh, there we go. This this high bit. tuba. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I was very pleased with that. I, <laughs> I thought, shall I push the tuba that high? And then I thought, you know what? I like to make James suffer, <laughs> so let's do it. Anyway, um, will there be a sequel? Will there be a sequel? Good question. Potentially. I think if there is a sequel, we'll have to rebuild a lot of the puppets. Yeah, we've got... Um, the puppets are all struggling. They're... Did I bring them back? No, I think they're still in Sc Scarborough. We definitely have one on the landing, <laughs> <laughs> watching James as he goes in to shower every morning. <laughs> yeah, but most of them are in a cupboard in Scarborough, so they can't get out. They... <laughs> yeah, are they safely locked in? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah, they sustained quite a bit of damage after them. Yeah, so maybe because we still have all the back sets, haven't we? We've got all the yeah. props. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, has the stage survived? It's in the basement. The stage has kind of survived. The top bit of the stage, <laughs> the kind of the curtain rail, is actually a pole that I need for something else. So, so the stage has kind of fallen down a bit. But I'm, I'm sure we can put it back together. Yeah, good. Alexa, set timer for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alexa. What? My legs hurt. Um, yeah, sequel. Oh, we did have a couple of ideas for spin-off a spin-off. I, I'd like to know about Professor Bodkin's history. Yeah, That's... I really want to do a show because we have the thing about Professor Bodkin being slightly obsessed with tripe lasagna. <laughs> so I thought cooking with Professor Bodkin would make a good YouTube series, if nothing else. Yes. Um, and the priest. We've met the priest, haven't we? He, he was in the... Yes, yeah, in the cinema. introduction. The guy with the very tall hat. And I'd like to do something with um, Larry as well. Uh, just because okay. I love doing his voice. He is, I do like the, Larry. The, the, the lift. <laughs> the lift. What's, what, was his, what was his surname again? <laughs> Larry Chops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Larry Chops the Butcher. Inspired name. We also thought Sheriff could do a... A supernatural you know, <laughs> ghost hunter program. Yeah, with, with the priest. Yeah, that would be very yeah. good. And the other idea was a shot-for-shot shot remake of The Exorcist, but just with our version of the priest. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes. <laughs> so there are, there are some ideas, and the other it said slash what are the what's the future for Glowworm Productions? Anyway, possible. <laughs> we're, we're very much hoping. Dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, there is no future. Um, we would very much like to see this performed live. If there are any puppeteers or puppet companies out there watching who would fancy putting their own spin on it, yes, we should submit it to some uh, film festivals. Yeah, film festivals and uh, puppetry festivals. Puppetry festivals, yeah. We'd like. I'd, it would be great to do a live version of it, yes. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd very much like to play in the band and be able to watch everyone else trying to juggle all these puppets and things and yeah. kind of do it, do it maybe slightly better than we did. Yes, that would be great. Yeah. So where are we up to now? So we're going to meet um, a new character. A new character. A key player. Oh yeah, I forgot about that place. She hasn't been affected at all by the worm. <laughs> One of my yes. favourite bits to film when I was in hysterics when we f filmed it was when... Well, there's the witch doctor. But yeah. it was when uh, Sheriff said to um, Roy Chapman Andrews, Professor Roy Chapman, follow me, <laughs> and then just walked just... <laughs> an inch or something. Yeah, he pushes right past him, and shoves him out of the way, walks two inches. And then Roy has to push past him again to get to Larry Chops. Oh, this this I think is great. Yeah, the, I'm the, very proud of him using the, the remote gadget. control to put the subtitles. In. And the the, the um, puppet looking down at the subtitles. Oh yeah, very I realised um, I forgot to do that for the final scene. Well, we meet the witch doctor again later on. Well, what's your name anyway? And um, yeah, you can see at the moment Roy is reading everything he says from the subtitles to understand it. But I forgot to look down <laughs> in the later scene. So the joke kind of, you know, if, if anything really ruins the whole production, I think that was it. Well, that's another thing about um, World Without Sand that I didn't say, but um, you, there's this, there's a line in it, what, what was it that, um, oh, is this? <laughs> take my hand. Um, hand in, brother, sister, hand in hand. Hand in hand, and every time Michael usually controlled the um, puppet that was saying that and he stuck out his hand for another puppet to hold it and every time I completely forgot or ignored it <laughs> I think that works a bit nicer and yes, if yeah. anything because <laughs> Roy was... is desperately trying to make a point and the other puppets just aren't interested yeah that's true it wasn't intentional though <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I should point out most of our jokes were intentional, honestly. Yeah. It's just, just we're emphasising the ones that weren't. Maybe now is a good time to talk about the um, backdrop as well, because there's some Easter eggs here, aren't there? There's, yes. The church is in the shape. I made it in the shape of the um, of the the emblem on the Mongolian flag, which I was pretty pleased yes. with. There's also the shop's um, sandberries. Yes. No water stones. Very good. Um, the one Tugrik land, which yeah. is the uh, currency of Mongolia. The equivalent of pound land. For the... yeah. And the and weeping camel, which uh, appears a few times. Yes. Do you want to explain the weeping camel reference? Well, there's a famous um, um, uh, film uh, set in Mongolia called <laughs> The Story of the Weeping Camel, which is about a camel uh, mother who doesn't accept their um, offspring so then they bring in some music to play to the camel and then the camel starts crying and accepts her child and lets lets the child drink from her it's quite a moving uh, film yes we have the dvd if anyone wants to borrow it can, uh, it's only one pound on uh, yeah on a shop so by all means come round to our house um take some rice and a dvd, <laughs> a DVD. Um, but we would like the dvd back yes What's this song called, Michael? <laughs> this is Stakeout, spelled S-T-E-A-K, oh, out. The puns. I, uh, yeah, and this was the first song we wrote. It was, it was. The very first one. We thought we'd better get the meat theme in early. Um, yeah, all good fun. I'm good. Oh, that, oh, okay, oh yes. that ringtone there, I'd just like to point out. If anyone's wondering how we got that realistic... Mobile fo- old fashioned mobile phone sound there to do that That's ringtone. Um, the ringtone, by the way, if you, in case you haven't noticed, it's the theme of Say Hello to Yellow, which Sheriff will be singing no, 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 no. later. Um, but to get the sound of the ringtone, I actually programmed it into my phone. The classic 2006 model Motorola W220, which against all the odds still functions. <laughs> And it had its little cameo in Mongolian Death Phone, so I'm very proud of that. No, that's commitment, isn't it? Yeah. Not many phones have been in films. <laughs> yes. Um. You cannot fall asleep. I'm a big fan of this song because I'm uh, a big fan of any song to do with food. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, you have quite a history with food songs. Yeah, you James, James, you're on the fridge doors. Only releases songs about food so far, food yeah. and drinks. Have Have the fridge doors considered a cover of this song? Oh. Would that be on the cards? Maybe. Not, not maybe not a studio <laughs> recorded cover, but maybe live. Maybe in the live. Part. Yeah. So that's another thing you can do. Once you've come round, taken our rice, our DVDs. <laughs> you can join the that. fridge doors <laughs> um, and come to the live gigs. We might charge you for them. Though. <laughs> yeah. In our garden. <laughs> in our garden. Yes. yes. So far, a hundred percent of the fridge doors gigs have been in, in the garden. garden. <laughs> It's a nice venue <laughs> when it's uh, dry. <laughs> I'd like to uh, point out here a little detail people might not have noticed, but the better butchers, uh, both the cart and the shop, has have nice large cuts of meat, all you know, very well stocked. The butchers, however, not only have very little in the way of meat, but every piece of meat has had a bite taken out of it. Presumably by the Mongolian death worm. Yeah. Which I, I think is a nice little touch. Oh, should we talk about the pot as well that he hides behind? <laughs> oh, yeah. <That's... laughs> should we tell people what that pot actually is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like you. That's great. <laughs> um, I wonder if there'll be a question about that later. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I hope so. <laughs> oh, Amazing. It's a steak. So the pot. Do you, wanna... um, do you want me to say it, it, it's oh, basically a, I'm too um, embarrassed. A, a, a toilet brush holder? <laughs> yeah. The toilet brush got thrown out, I think, or yeah. something. But we thought the, the pot was that. too nice to throw away. <laughs> yeah, the pot was so, very nice. It, <laughs> as, as toilet pot holders go, it was a very yeah. nice toilet pot. I, I did clean it. I should... Oh, there's another hat malfunction before <laughs> yeah. we say anything else. Uh, Sheriff's hat falling off there. <laughs> We thought we'd leave that in because it's quite in character. Yes, yeah. <laughs> see his bottle top head. 
Yes, I did clean the toilet brush pot. So it's, it's spotless now, and we're thinking of using it as a vase for artificial flowers. Yes, you, you started making some artificial flowers. Yeah, about uh, last last April. Yeah, so that's, yeah before, well before we recorded this, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, stay tuned for artificial flowers. But if you do come to our house, you can't have them. Because they've taken a long time to make. Are you yeah. ready for some more pina colada, Michael? Oh, yes. Fill her up, please. Yes, for those who can't see, which is everybody, we are currently uh, treating ourselves to some Aldi pina colada fa- flavoured drink. It's <laughs> horrible. Which is going down very nicely. It's actually quite tasty. It's, yeah, it's, it's very good. You know I can't physically do that. I'm all in favour of an Aldi beverage. Oh, that's the Alexa alarm again. Uh, oh, again? Alexa, stop. Another question already. Alexa, stop. Okay, now look at this. I hope it's relevant to the scene. I'm oh, I'd like to say at this point... I know it doesn't um, much, but let me you may be wondering what the pink slugs are on the uh, the characters' foreheads. Um, those are meant to be elastoplasts or uh, band aids for our American viewers. <laughs> Every time the uh, sheriff and Roy get hit by the pan, next time they appear, they have an extra plaster on their heads, in true Tom and Jerry style. Okay, are you ready for the next question? I'm so ready. I'll, I'll skip to question four, just to because oh. it's a, a bit relevant to well, the scenes, the previous scene. That's this is from um, Callum Ander. Callum Ander. Or Cal Cal Ander. Cal Ander. Cal. For sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds a bit like Colander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you can remember it. Yes. Yeah, that's how. That's how he says you remember his name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it sounds like Colander. Just think Colander. And just and you'll, you'll remember ca- Calendar. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's how I remember what my calendar is. Um, but the, the question is, it sounds like you got a professional yodeler in. Is that oh, is this true? That's a very good that's question. Fun. As was the previous one. Well, I'll, let you you an- I'll, I'll let you answer this. <laughs> um, I uh, I didn't pay James for his yodeling. I haven't yet. Um, so I, for that, I would uh, I would say definitely an amateur yodeler. Yeah. By strict definition. Um, in terms of skill. And in terms of just quality of yodeling, I would say professional from beginning to end. Say hello to you. It's just, there's no... I didn't throw any tantrums or anything, did I, as well? No, he wasn't a diva. He was very easy to work with. Um, I'd give him, yeah, full, at least four stars I was, out of five. I was pulling very funny faces as I was yodeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not as funny as when I was doing the voice of um, the Mongolian Yes, yeah. yeah, We've got an excellent photo of James doing his very soulful ballad that you will hear later. Maybe we can, when it comes up to that scene, we could input a picture of it. Yes, I'll see if my video is Alexa, flag of Brazil. Set timer for 10 minutes. We'll do this town a good deed. Yeah. Flag of Brazil. We, I have yes. lots of flags of Brazil because I ordered that <laughs> yes. and it came yeah. with like 14 oh, there's, of us. Also, there's the rubber duck as well. Oh, the, the other rubber duck, painted green, uh, just under the flag there. So, what do you think? Oh, the, the, there's my head, yeah, yeah. Well, I really wasn't aware how visible I was at this point. I should also uh, point out that James. Uh, mixed colours, especially for this backdrop. Oh yes, it was. It was. <laughs> that was a fun day. I really enjoyed that. Like, and and went paints. on a big shop, shop to, to buy, buy as many green things. <laughs> I I got a very strange look from the uh, the uh, cashier who served me uh, when I just turned up with only <laughs> green things. <laughs> it's like a, I only do shops by colour <laughs> corner. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the obsessive Which thing. It's a bit weird because I I I personally really hate the colour green. <laughs> it's my least favourite colour by a long way. So would you say that was the worst shop you've ever had to do? Well, it's not mine. Yeah, well, no, because it was very funny. <laughs> yes. Um, you get a very good view here of the sausage props. Um, 
How did you make these, Michael? I, I was really hoping you'd ask that, and I'm, I'm glad that you did. Um, so these sausages also turn up in the very first scene where they get stolen by the uh, as yet un invisible Mongolian deathworm. And that's the, the first of our Punch and Judy references at the start of the film. Sausages being stolen is a classic trope. Um, these were made from pairs of tights um, and the kind of filling in there, the sausages, the meat, if you will, is uh, old toilet roll tubes. Uh, kind of twisted and folded up slightly. Um, and another fun fact to know is that as we're recording this, we have a couple of uh, pop shields in front of the microphones to uh, to stop us kind of spitting into them like this. Going pop pop <laughs> to stop that happening. Um, and these are homemade pop shields made from also pairs of tights, and they're the same. They were in the same pack of tights as the tights that I used in those sausages. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the Oof. first and m maybe the last time I bought tights. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, the cock and doodle do that as well. Yes. We played it backwards was, at one point. That was forwards. Yeah. Wasn't Early, it? It's just before the stakeout. Yeah. I think when it goes from day till night, you hear the sound of a cockerel crowing. But played backwards. Yeah, I was very pleased with that. Yeah. Nice little, nice little joke. It's even better when it's explained in great detail. Of course. First, <laughs> why not? Wait, 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 wait. These were costumes. I think. Turned out Did you say nice desert? Thing. Yeah. Just looking at the puppets, if you notice, every different character has a different nose, like made of something else. <laughs> and uh, Roy has a nose made from a a, a shampoo uh, cap top, top top of a shampoo cap thing. <clears throat> and the sheriff's, of, of course, is uh, Tim Foyle. Yes. More noses coming up. Oh, of course. Yes. And there's another forehead so uh, by me. <laughs> another four... Oh, yes. Yeah, four heads by James York. <laughs> you made these um, worm costumes. They were yes. very good. I, yeah, I was very proud. We had a, a surplus of googly eyes and false teeth. Uh, and we still have a, a massive surplus of pink fabric. Yeah. yeah, so if anyone wants any pink fabric, as well as rice, DVDs, and tickets to James here on the fridge doors. Um, we'll do a, a bundle package. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a, a charity auction. Which one? They're so far apart. You're getting baby. This um, scene What's happened to your was originally... Because the purpose of this is for now, Roy to overcome his fear of sand child, so that he can go into the desert. Childhood. And our original I plan was that it would be some kind of montage childhood. with the kind of Eye of the Tiger type you know, rocky music. Seashore, yeah. Right? But that in the end conflicted with our, our vision. And I don't think what? that's too grand a word, vision. <laughs> that it, it should be like a, like a live theatre show. Yeah, so I thought and if it was a montage, it would be. The prices are extortionate. Well, for one, I didn't want to create too many sets yeah. to, for them to travel through. Yeah. yeah, it would be a lot of set and prop making. Yeah. Like two second shots. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I, this, I was very pleased with uh, the compromise we came up with. I really liked the line. Um, it's coming up in a minute, I think. You know I hate um, what is it? You should be cured by now. Do I look cured to you? I oh, know it's earlier on. It's um. I have to move to step two. Uh, don't you know I'm a fully qualified hypnotist? Now, really? So you can cure my phobia? <laughs> no, but I can make you think I've cured your phobia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you oh. have you ever had hypnotherapy? Uh, no, I haven't. No. Uh, I have. Uh, was it like this? It, it was did you get nothing sand, like this. <laughs> I did oh. it before my driving test. That's, um, oh. It was very good actually. It, was, it helps me. I, I didn't. I was a, very pessimistic before it, and uh, it worked. It That's worked. Good. Did you pass? I, I passed that time. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, Anyone looking for driving tips? My uncle's a hi hypnotist as well, but he wasn't the one who hypnotised me that time. Okay. Yeah. Now we're in the desert. Another set. I was. Um, I was pleased with that colour of brown. 
it's, it's a nice shade of brown. What nice. Shall I, like, we, um... I like the sun as well. The sun was in exactly the same spot for both the sets with the sun in. Oh, was right, yeah. With. Very nice. Shall we uh, explain the overall setup of our, our studio and our stage? people in case they're wondering what all these where we got all these black backdrops and things from yes yeah, so those are well that's those are bed sheets aren't they yeah fortunately james and i both have black bed sheets yes um so one of them is behind the behind the stage kind of behind the uh, sand dunes there and stuck up on the living room wall with gaffer tape and the other one is covering what is actually an ironing board um <laughs> Which the the set is sitting on top of, and it's currently covered with bits of paper from the worm, from the worm, from the uh, sand falling. Yeah. And then there's there's a bit of polystyrene painted black there as well. Oh yes. That was very annoying to paint. I remember that. Yes. Because the paint just uh, <laughs> it didn't stick. It didn't stick at all. <laughs> yeah, we were running out of large bits of cardboard by that time. Because it wasn't until we kind of got everything in the room and saw what stuff was like on the cameras that we realised how much extra black space we'd need to kind of hide our actual furniture. Yeah, that's why um, the other camera's to the left, isn't it? So, yeah. And we There's... don't have another camera to the right because there was the, yeah. no black there. Yeah, the... um. The one shot where we did put the other camera on the right of the stage was when James was doing the map earlier oh, on. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And for that, we moved the polystyrene over to the other side. And <laughs> yeah. that was purely because of the glare from the window. Um, on the map, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the map was kind of it's quite laminated, glossy, wasn't it? it? Glossy, yeah. yeah glossy, so, not um, laminated. So it was slightly better if we put the camera on the other side. You could like see more of the map. Cave. Wait, but for the rest of it, yeah. It like, and the stage is on a piano stand. Have you said that? Um, I haven't said that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, stage is supported. There are a couple of planks of wood there, which we found in the basement. <laughs> we have a lot of planks of wood in our basement. If anyone wants any, <laughs> we'll do you a bundle package. A lot of old beds and things down there. <laughs> so we put and we put them on top of yeah, like a, a keyboard piano stand. Oh, it gets very dark there. How did I'm we achieve that dark effect? I'm very pleased with these curtains. They're very good. You, you did the curtains, didn't you? Yeah, I was I was very pleased. I managed to get them on a little pulley system. So when you... That's a very, that's a, a very um, Michael A. Grant <laughs> task, doing curtains. I, I yes, don't think yeah. I'd be very good at <laughs> doing curtains. Just mechanisms in general. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there was a little string on the left of... Uh, well, yeah, as you're looking at the screen, on the left of it, there was a string... And like in a real proper theatre, if you pulled on the string one way, it would open the curtains, and you pulled on it the other, it would close them. Um, oh, um, but the darkness was affected by... Um, Just closing the curtains. <laughs> closing the curtains, yeah. The, and we had to... The really annoying thing was um, there was there's a, bit of cur- there's a bit of window that the curtain doesn't hold, because it, the, the ceiling's uh, uh, kind of slanted with a... Like a ceiling yeah. window, which you can't which, cover. Which doesn't have blinds or curtains on it or anything. Because this is in the living room. Yeah. Um, so I had to I had to stick a bit of cardboard to this window. <laughs> to get it dark enough. Falling down. Oh, was that the Alexa? Alexa, stop. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> my legs hurt. Are you ready for the next question? Oh, this is more of my superb I'm not sure I am. Yodeling. We need a good hiding spot. How about here, behind this pot? I mean, rock. Very nice line there. <laughs> Alexa, set timer for ten minutes. Okay. Um, the next question is from Ricochet. <laughs> Ricochet. Ricochet. Oh. And that, yeah, he's Irish, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the wow. question is... Um, you know Ricochet, yeah, yeah. Everyone oh, knows yeah, Ricochet. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Ricochet I'm thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> um, the question is, were any of the characters made based on either James or Michael in either appearance or personality? Oh. Well, I like to think I look very much like this character. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> 
That is actually my hat that the witch doctor's wearing as well. I loaned <laughs> it to the production. And my hair. What? You don't I can't. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> um, I would say, in a way, the sheriff could be related to my personality because I think I can be very stupid at times. <laughs> and the voice is very much your voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much my voice, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe not in looks, but um, personality certainly he does say <laughs> yes. some some very stupid things, which I would sometimes maybe say. <laughs> I do um, also a character trait you may have noticed from the sheriff is that he goes around just his general life, um, just singing. Say hello to ya, hello <laughs> da, 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 which is his song. Um, and James has also started doing that recently, so <laughs> yes. I think as time goes on, he's becoming more I and do. more like the show. And um, looks wise, who do I look the most like? Oh, maybe I think... Laurie Chops covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you going to wash off that blood at any point, or are you just going to leave that? <laughs> I mean, it looks all right, but it is starting to smell. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to be, I am a bit of a, um, a hat collector, um, so yes. yeah. I would happily wear any of the hats that the characters are wearing. <laughs> I had to include a hat for every puppet because otherwise you'd be able to see the top of the, the bottle that they're made out. <laughs> so, yeah. Is um, this a good time to go into more of the details of how the puppets are made? I, uh, yes, I could do. Um, discuss the arms. but there's much I mean, there's the, 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 I've discussed the arms. The, um, the clothes are all made of uh, squares of felt, um, which are over a bottle, a plastic bottle, with a bigger plastic bottle over the top for a head. I don't, and... Um, the felt are squares and they were the perfect shape to cover the front and then the back is a jacket so that's why they're all designed exactly the, the same way and then of course the based on their personas i uh, the faces all look different the the um, nose for this character is a oh, yes. is the top of a super glue bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so it was funny super gluing the, the top <laughs> of a super glue bottle onto yeah. a piece yeah. of paper, and then it's just a um, what do you knit with? Just yeah. wool. Wool. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> wool for <laughs> hair. Yeah, but they've all got hats because you, otherwise you'd see the plastic top of the bottles yeah. on all the characters. Of course, this character has two hats as well. Because earlier, oh yeah, so her wearing her butcher's, her butcher's hat. hat, which is the same as Larry Chop. But yes. I made two hats, two separate hats. Yeah. For that I don't know why because they didn't appear in the same scene together. Yeah. <laughs> so we could have just used the same. That's a good hat. point. <laughs> Oh well. Another nice thing about the puppets is uh, with the head being kind of separate from the body and kind of stuck on, it means it's got a nice little wobble. So if you shake the puppet, you get a nice wobbly head effect. Yeah. Which uh, I tried to make use of. At but every as, opportunity. As you found out in the bleepers, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes the connection between head and body wasn't quite. I like how the um, the super glue on the nose here has run a bit, so mm. she does look like she has a runny nose. But <laughs> yes. All the pans, so then. Fun fact about this, this is the only piece of audio that we recorded live on set, because otherwise, you know, it would have been difficult to time it and synchronise it. Everything else you hear was recorded afterwards. All this uh, jazzy. I, I love this song. This is my favourite song. It's good, it's good. And that is a cameo from your very own toy piano. Yes, which is here at the moment. That's right, I can see it, it's right next to the TV. Okay, I'll play them. Yeah, show them what it actually sounds like. Because the sound you hear on the recording is a, a real, kind of early synthesised piano. I'll play it. But this is what the, the actual toy piano <laughs> sounds like. But you can call me Yeah. Wow, that's lovely. And it's also um, an, an Armenian duduk on top of the toy piano there, which is also mine. I've, I'm a bit of a collector of, as well as hats, I collect very weird instruments as well. Yeah. I knew it was you from the start. And I've started collecting spices as well, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's always nice to get a dig at Americans, isn't it? 
<laughs> defend two whole continents in one go. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't so sure about Euclid. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> um, if anyone's wondering, because we did have a friend watch this the other week and they were wondering uh, what that is stuck on the back wall. That's meant to be a, a trophy. Um, those are the sausages that were stolen in the very first scene. It's kind of like a fishing trophy. <laughs> I enjoyed making this um, backdrop as well. What's what are they called? The things that drop down from caves. I think again. they are just called backdrops. No, the the things that drop down from caves. From caves. Oh, the stalag stalag tights st- fall down. The sta- stalag tights. Knowing all about tights as I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was very so pleased much. with this as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, so this is um, another Punch and Judy reference. I think those were our two main influences doing this, were the Mongolian death worm, like the actual myth slash legend, which is yeah. a, a real thing, sort of, and Punch and Judy. And Indiana Jones. I would say Indiana and, Jones oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is a very big influence. Yes. Yeah, the character of Roy is very much <laughs> but <laughs> Indiana Jones made the, of cardboard. The um, <laughs> Professor Roy Chapman Andrews is a real person. I don't think we've said yes. that yet. Yeah, and, that, yeah that's weird. And <laughs> Indiana Jones is slightly based on Roy Chapman Andrews. That, yeah, I've completely forgotten about that. Yeah. So if anyone watches this and thinks they obviously based Roy Chapman Andrews on Indiana Jones, no, it was the other way around. Yes. Indiana Jones is genuinely based on Roy Chapman Andrews. And Roy Chapman Andrews went to Mongolia... And there's the Armenian Duduk. <laughs> and he wrote about the Mongolian death worm, and that's... Yes, uh, a local legend, which is why at the beginning of this it says, <laughs> I mean, what is it, based on real events or inspired by real events? <laughs> yeah. Which inspired, one is the loosest it? phrase. <laughs> and finally we get to see the worm. Yes. I do like this moment. Hello, Roy. We did have a theory that maybe the reason you'll find out later on that Roy and the worm get on particularly well. We thought maybe the reason for that is that the worm is the only character who gets Roy's name right. Yes. The other ones, he says to he says to Sheriff his name, and Sheriff calls him Boy Hatman Sand Dunes. Um, he says to Larry, uh, I'm Professor Roy Chapman Andrews, but you can call me Roy Chapman Andrews. And Larry calls him Professor, which is the one name he didn't want to call. And the ri- witch doctor calls him Roy- Professor Roy Chapman Andrews, but you can call me Roy Chapman Andrews, which is also wrong. But the worm actually gets it right. Yes. Despite his googly googly eyes. <laughs> his googly googly eyes. I-, I love his teeth as well. There's- Yes, I bought we... some fake teeth for that. I, I'm not sure where the rest of the fe- fake teeth are. There were 12 was a... in the pack, weren't there? There's 12, that many? I wow. think there were, because it's like a box of them. There's a grid. Two of them were used in the worm costumes. Yes. I, I need but... to try and find them, because I'd, I'd like some fake teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my, my genuine one's decaying day by day. There's goes pina colada gin. I remember... You, um, when when the box of different teeth arrived, you came up to me and um, asked what I thought would be the perfect teeth for the worm. And there were most of them were kind of fangs and kind of, uh, you know. Yeah, um, lots lots of them were kind of horror inspired. Yeah, horror teeth, like for Halloween costumes and things, because you can't actually put them in your mouth over your teeth, and they're like a, a costume thing. You're like, oh, which ones do you think would be good for the worm? And I pointed to those. And I think that's what you'd be thinking as well. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's I right. think that was, uh, that was a moment of great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> so you do have a couple of lines in there. It's like, his teeth are bigger than me. Yeah. You know, he has massive teeth and all yeah. these things. And we thought it'd be funny if rather than yeah. being actual dangerous what? teeth, they were just like massive buck teeth. Alexa, stop. Is it time for another question? Yeah, it is. Alexa, a time of 10 minutes. Um, are you ready for the next question? Yeah. Um, this is from. Um, <laughs> Go on. Does it not say that? It doesn't. Does it not say on the paper? It's from. Um, 
Um, um, uh, 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 Hands stick. <laughs> hand stick. Hand stick. <laughs> Mainly because there's, um, I've got some hands up there and there's uh, a stick. As well. Yeah, that's. If you're, anyone's wondering why James is currently covered in blood, it's because he has a pair of hands <laughs> on his bookshelf. I don't know whose they were, but there we go, dripping down as we speak. Um, go on, hands, take it away. So this question is: um, they they obviously have they aren't. Um, they obviously haven't watched the film. <laughs> they aren't avid f- fans of uh, this work because That's a very said, polite way of putting it. <laughs> they've said, "I've forgotten the name of the bad guy." Okay, but it's a girl actually. But never mind. How did you do his voice? Her Stop. voice. Her voice. Witch doctor. Yeah, we decided the witch doctor, the witch doctor should be more witch than doctor. Um, and yes, this is goes. The voice of the witch doctor goes back to. Punch and Judy. Oh, Punch and Judy references. Yeah. Um, anyone who's ever seen a Punch and Judy show will know that uh, Punch has a very distinctive, kind of raspy, buzzy voice. Um, and there's a very good uh, video on YouTube that we found, actually, of Robert Peston um, kind of using this, this technique to do Punch's voice, yeah, which is worth a look. Um, and the way it's achieved, I won't go into too much detail, but there's a, a little thing called a, a swazzle, which is a type of reed. It's a little bit like a kazoo kind of thing. And you put it in your mouth, try not to swallow it or inhale it, and you speak through it, and it kind of makes this buzzy, yeah, kind of raspy tone. Um, so I made myself a swazzle out of an old pan and some fabric and some string. Um, I did a lot of a lot of practice with it, um, and that's how the voice came about. It. I also wrote a very long blog post about it for my blog. I wrote a few blog posts about Mongolian deathworm. Yeah. One about like the orchestrations. One about um, one about the swazzle. One about um, recording the music and all that. But the swazzle one was the longest. So you can tell where my loyalty is. Um, why don't you mention your website now? Just in case people want to check that out. I have a website. It's um, So the website is www.michaelgrantmusician.com Whatever you do, don't go to www.michaelgrantmusic.co.uk because that will take you to the other Michael Grant whom I despise. Do you, do you want to do a? Do you want to plug any websites, Facebook pages, any uh, I'm YouTube okay channels? The time. I'm, I'm okay for the time. Well, James, your YouTube. I've got some cool stuff on there, but um, I, I, music videos. If you want to read more about the Mongolian deathworm, the, the blogs on Michael A Grant Musician dot com. Uh, no, <laughs> Michael Grant Musician dot com. Oh, that's it. That's if it. you click on the blog link, it'll yes. take you there. It'll You'll take find you there, it yeah, eventually yeah. if you really care that much. Um. You <laughs> um, I've got some bad news. We're almost out of pina colada. Oh no! Oh dear. But um, what was I going to say? Um, we tried to cover a lot of different types of puppets as well. We had um, shadow puppets there, didn't we? We've got them. Oh yes, the main the puppets. shadow puppets. That was. We uh, should talk about that for a bit. Yeah, worked very well. We yeah. had we had shadow puppets. We had puppets. shadow puppets. Kind of <laughs> witched up, yes. Yeah, and we we changed the lighting to we had was it red fabric that went over the. It was lights? like crepe paper that we happened to have. Yeah, it was red. So that as the doctor gets eaten, we put the red paper over the light, and uh, it made it look like blood was going everywhere, yeah. which is uh, very good. And then in a bit, you'll see that we had finger puppets as well. So. Yes. And we have mentioned, so we mentioned finger puppets as well. Yes, we as made so made good use of that joke. Yes. I have a wife and three ping- finger puppets to feed. <laughs> Woe is meat. Woe is meat. <laughs> that was very good. And um, think back to when you were a tiny finger puppet. Yes. Um, the priest. We should credit, because uh, the idea for doing the shadow puppet bit, we weren't quite sure how to do the effect of Witch Doctor being eaten by the uh, the worm. So we thought, oh, this is something we're going to have to think about. <laughs> this is going to be difficult and hard. But we've already you know, done a lot of difficult stuff. Yeah. But then 
Oh, our bestest boy. Oh, best. Oh, was it Richard's <laughs> idea? It was ah, his idea. He tweet. said, "Oh, you should do it like, uh, 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 yeah, a shadow thing, and the light behind it projected onto a screen." Yeah, I remember and that it now. It worked. A very good idea. I thought it was going to be more difficult than it was, but it worked really well. Yeah, it did. Apart from get. Oh no, that was before getting. That was the um, the green scene where the the sheep wouldn't come down. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a different scene. We pulled the stage down several times. Yeah. As you find in the, it's a little parody of all things bright and beautiful here. I I like it how um, viewers of the musical at, at this uh, point of the musical they think that it's almost over, but <laughs> it's only, <laughs> yeah. the scenes the scenes the longest by far. The, the, and it's, there's a 15 minute <laughs> wedding scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we thought all great musicals end with weddings, but they only show like a bit of it. So, yeah, why not have the whole ceremony? We'll show the whole ceremony, and it's all, it's all, it, pretty much, it's all musical as well. It's like a free composed ceremony. Yeah, and we did actually base this on a real wedding ceremony. I, I got, <laughs> I, I'd been to a, a we the wedding <laughs> of a friend of mine. <laughs> if you're listening to this, Harriet, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> The year before, and I still had the uh, the order of service from it, so I thought, oh, we'll just use this. So it is vaguely authentic. I'm very um, pleased with my uh, glass windows as well that I created. Yeah. With the, yeah, I didn't know which uh, symbols. Um, I don't think Mongolia is particularly Christian, but I, uh, the cross was there, and then I thought... There's always a, a glass window of them of a saint defeating a evil beast. So I thought a worm would be good, and because of the yeah. meat relevance, the steak as well. And there's the finger puppet, of course. Yes, and the finger puppet. This uh, musical section that you've just heard is one of the more obscure references, <laughs> where he's just going. <laughs> That's actually. Uh, novelty song I can't remember when it was from a very old novelty song called There's a New Sound and it's all about the sound that is made by worms yeah, hence why by Tony Borello Tony Borello, I'd recommend Bar looking it up Borello. it was yeah, he was a, an authentic kind of serious songwriter who got really frustrated with how all the all the really successful songs were just these stupid novelty songs that I had no effort put into them. So he kind of released this song, um, the sound that is made by worms, there's a new sound, um, almost as a protest against that. And then it ended up selling really, really well to prove his point. So there you go. Oh, I wish those days were back, the, the days of the novelty songs yeah. being successful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah when the, the most successful songs are just the stupid ones. We did so well. Um, the priest's nose is made from, uh, you know, when you get like toggles and they've got, you fasten it up. The, the, on, a, on a jacket, yeah. On, on a jacket or a bag bits. or something, yeah. yeah the, when you've got the, the bits of string and you want to tighten mm. it, yeah, it's, that's what his nose is made of. He has impressive eyebrows as well. Yes, I made them, I, I thought a priest needs some thick eyebrows. Yes, to command was, the respect I, of the I was very pleased with his hat as well, I haven't mentioned his hat. It's, so, we should maybe also say that the uh, scale of the musical overall is quite largely defined by the height of the priest's hat. <laughs> yes. That's why, why we had to make the stage the size that it is yes. we, we, to accommodate that. Yeah, I forgot about that. We determined the uh, size of the stage by uh, how tall his hat was. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty, uh, pretty stupid <laughs> to think, yeah. Yeah, we maybe just maybe should have made the stage first. Well, one of them anyway. Just out of interest, the uh, the the front of the stage, that green bit you see, is made from a uh, a box that a, a TV came in. Yes. I think one of our housemates ordered a TV. He was uh, held onto the box. He was actually asking um, uh, if he could if he had a box for a TV recently. Was he? Yes. <laughs> what happened uh, to that box? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's been used. <laughs> yeah, we did make it into a stage. Alexa, stop. I think this is the final question. 
The other handy thing about using a TV box for the stage is that it makes it the exact aspect ratio 16 by 9 for a widescreen video. So there we go. Very good, very good. Um, this last question is from... Um, go um, on, go on. I want to know the name. <laughs> Season... Quickly. Flip flop. <laughs> Susan Flip flop. <laughs> Susan Flip flop asks. Thank you, Miss Flip flop. Well, obviously, first question is. Oh. <laughs> first question is. Oh. <laughs> Why did you write a musical about a Mongolian worm? Oh, that that's a been, terrible question. That should have been answering. our first question, to be honest. They're like, yeah. um, in the sequence of questions. I think a but lot of people ask why. <laughs> there's also follow up questions. Oh. What were your inspirations, which we've what kind of answered f- throughout, but yeah. <laughs> and um, how long did it take to make? Okay. So, yes. So, the, first, why the Mongolian death whip? Well, this is quite an interesting story because we wanted to write a musical together because um, for quite a while, I, I'd mentioned previously um, as a joke... Um, Hammer Grant's Rogers and Rogers and Hammer Grant. Hammer Grant. I thought it would be cool to write a musical together, and um, the lockdown hit us, and we had a lot of free time. And I think we decided both to write five different musical ideas down. Yeah, we each for each musical idea we had to come up with a title and a tagline. Yes. Um. Oh, the list of them are downstairs, but I'm trying to think of... We, we had one about te- was... Tequim Whittock, which was... <laughs> that was the bonus one. <laughs> yeah, it oh, was, was what that? was it called? It was called um, <laughs> Cough No Cough. <laughs> cough no... <laughs> Tagline was, I'm in fo- I'm entirely focused on Tequim Whittock. <laughs> oh, no, you have to be in it to quit it. That was it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to be in it to quit it. <laughs> but that was, that was the guy who helped um, that major win... You'll um, only get cheats. that if you watch the same programmes that we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was uh, one about a jockey. The, the small jockey the was a jockey, it? yeah. Was it the small jockey? Small jo- no, the tall the jockey. The tall jockey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the small jockeys are not. not um, I can't remember the other ones. Maybe we can put it in the notes. I'm trying I don't to remember. Think people are that interested. No, but we had a list of 10, and we, I asked uh, a large demographic of people. Um, could you list these in your favourites 1 to 10 and we did a poll I think we probably got about 15 responses or something like that yeah something like that and then we counted them up and Mongolian Death Wemmer Puppet Show Musical was the winner you came up with the idea of this one didn't you um, this was one kind of yours it was from we were, we were watching some terrible films on Amazon Prime I think Maybe it was after we watched Dino Croc vs. Supergate. <laughs> yeah, I think it was immediately after. One of the suggestions that came up was Mongolian Deathworm, which is that there's a film of it, as you would, yeah, you can imagine. Um, and I thought, oh, we should make a, a... That should be one of our titles for musicals. And then James said, could it be a puppet show musical? <laughs> yes. It's like, okay, Mongolian Deathworm, a puppet show musical. That ending was um, very much inspired by was it Cinderella? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. The Disney was, ending. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I, I love the ending. But, and you can tell that I've given because I'm holding so many puppets at the same time. I've really given up trying to hide my face <laughs> at the end. You can definitely see. Um, what were the other questions that that person asked? Oh, so what were your inspirations? We've already answered that, haven't we? With yeah, uh, Punch and Judy, Indiana Jones. How long did it take to make? Few months. Yeah, maybe. the filming only took t- two or three days. Did it? Yeah. Um, but the the preparation took a long time. The writing of it. The writing. Uh, what, we, we recorded which, all the music in. Well, we recorded all the vocals for the music in a few days. Which process do you think took the longest? The writing of the songs. Yeah, probably. That was or a bit the, more spread out. Or the set well, building. It? Is it either one of those? Wasn't yeah, it? it's hard to say. Some of them were were more intensive. Because it was during the lockdown and we were, were drinking a lot of gin during the day. <laughs> yeah. it, that that we, would explain a lot. We weren't trying to rush the process at all. <laughs> yeah, that would explain a lot. <laughs> and then afterwards, that like, post-production took, what, a couple of months? 
yeah. and editing it we, together. We are recording the re-recording the dialogue. It's weird because we filmed it all together and then we went back to our parents' our respective homes. Respective homes. Because it was during the um, the easing period, didn't we? Yeah. What, and after then, the first uh, wave, and then the and second then wave hit. Return of the son of lockdown. Yeah, and then yeah. that's when it was released, and we didn't watch. We haven't. We didn't watch it together until about two weeks ago, which is well, a bit crazy. longer than that now. Three weeks ago. Yeah, crazy. Oh, these, these are, are the very hands who who wrought this chaos. <laughs> and the very forehead. I got all the uh, sound effects from a website as well. Should we shout out that website? What's it called? Freesounds.org? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Freesounds.org, I did think. Did you record some of them? Oh, some of the sound effects I recorded, yeah. But, oh. Any, what, what was your favourite self-recorded sound effect? I'm trying to remember now. I can't actually remember which ones I recorded. Well, that's quite disappointing. <laughs> yeah, for sorry. Listeners. That's a dumb squib. It'd but, be a shame to end on such a. If you notice the credits, we alternate our, <laughs> our yeah. names each time. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a cool way to do it. Larry Chops there. Larry Chops. Builder, the builder. <laughs> and that's the sheet that gave us so much difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, a trad jazz version, uh, very much in the style of the Jelly Roll the Jazz Jelly Band. Roll, look us up, we're great. <laughs> um, of of uh, every hero needs a villain. Yes. Is it not? Yeah. My favourite song from the musical. Yes. Song solo. <laughs> I like when your hand comes over. Yeah, well, I was very worried about the pot <laughs> falling down and breaking. <laughs> that very precious toilet pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but think of the continuity, Michael. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we would have been point, screwed. Yeah. <laughs> continuity. Priceless. This is a good job, Mike. Yeah. Wait, something just grabbed my hand. Oh, that was. Oh, yes, that was. <laughs> I had no idea we were recording this. I thought this was just a run through. <laughs> um, thank you very much to the band that helped us out, by the way. Ben Sarney, as yes. you can see. Joe's the boss. Dominic Lowe. Lowe, Lo Lo is that how you pronounce Lo, it? Lowe, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Michael A. Grant was really good. Yes. Um, and James, you're on the cheap. Yeah. Yes. Here he that's, is now. Listen. Him. Listen. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, <laughs> oh, these are good names, aren't they, for the national app from Mongolia? Yeah, I. Bella Jean Dam Sword? Yeah, I think I copied and pasted them for safety rather than <laughs> trying to spell them out. <laughs> Tony Borello, there we go. That's a new sound. Oh, here's the hat come. Oh, oh. no, no, that's not it. I think Where's, it's, there's I one think it's the next one. Where, where you. You really see the tenuous link between head and body. Maybe the next outtake? I think it's the next one, yeah. Thank you one? to Cash Goggin. Oh, it's <laughs> this one. To the tripod hanger. Uh, uh, oh. Is that his head? Yep. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Uh, and many puppets were harmed during the making <laughs> yes. of the feature. As, as you, you can, can see. see that. <laughs> it's right there. And now there they're locked is. away in the cupboard without any food or water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Thank you for listening to One this. One day they'll have their revenge. Oh. Ah. There's the Armenian to look again. Yes. Any final thoughts you'd like to add? Not really. I was just uh, drinking pina colada and, uh, yeah, it's um, just talking about things. Yeah. 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 If you if you wouldn't mind just leaving us alone now to drink pina colada. That yes. Yes. Um, that'd nice. be very good. Uh, 